some of the big areas of focus in this course. Uh, one is around deployment. And deployment with the 1000V is one of those sticky subjects because it's something that the network side, you know, the network people understand kind of the Cisco-ness of this switch and how it operates because it's very much like a Nexus 5000 or 7000 hardware switch. The VMware admins understand the VMware side, kind of how it relates to port groups and VMs and interfaces. But there's a lot of merging of ideas here. So we talk a lot about implementation. We talk a lot about best practices and recommendations because there's a number of options for deployment, so we go over those. Uh, one big area that I spend a lot of time on and do a, a kind of an in-depth lab is migration. It's not hard to actually deploy this switch in this product, but what if I've got a production environment with 500 VMs or 50 VMs and I want to move to this without any real disruption. So we talk a lot about that. And if you're a large organization or one with a dedicated network team that wants to deploy this and manage it and kind of own this product, we have a really great lesson in live lab, live lab around their Nexus 1010, which is the hardware appliance. It's an optional hardware appliance. So we talk about that, all the configuration options, options and actually show those appliances and how you would deploy them. So at the end of this course, a student should really understand end to end why I would want to deploy this product. Basically, why would I want to deploy this instead of what comes built in with VMware? Then how it's going to impact my environment, what I need to do as far as prerequisites. You know, what do I need to do for deployment? What do I need to do networking-wise? What are my requirements for my VMware environment? All of that. Then what changes, if any, do they need to make to their existing network configurations and how they do their uh, network connectivity and, and that? And you know, finally, just how to do the actual implementation. So all the steps and how to do the migrations and how to make sure it's non-disruptive. I show them how to test things as they go. That's the big thing. I don't want anybody taking a, just kind of that leap of faith when they're ready to do this. But we test and validate along the way. And at the end, we go over a lot of day-to-day -day administration, troubleshooting, what a person who's deployed this is going to be doing on day 90 or day 180, you know, once they've kind of gone over that hurdle of initial implementation. What am I going to be doing every day and every week? So it's really, at the end, you should be able to understand why you want to do it, how you do it, and what you need to do for care and feeding once you're done.